this morning I spoke about a, a, a sort of educational nostalgia and that's a, a, a force if you like that works on education systems and school systems that holds them back sometimes people talk about a kind of an inertia or a, a resistance to change but very often it's this image that we have of what a good education is and what we mean by a good education is 30 obedient silent children one very powerful teacher very big textbooks and very hard tests and this is a very powerful image so when people talk about e-twinning and technology and students making connections and doing much more of the the flexible learning and the 21st century skills we like it we think yes this sounds very good but underneath we still have this very powerful image of what a good classroom is and parents have it teachers have it politicians have it and that acts as a very powerful uh, force on the education system just as well as all the forces for change. Why pupils go to school? I think this is a the issue of why pupils go to school and what gets them there is one that I think people misunderstand sometimes especially teachers. When I was a teacher I believed firmly that students came to school to learn and that I was a really good teacher and they really wanted to sit in my class and learn what I had to teach them. Actually, that was only secondary. Students come to school, especially, you know, students around the age of 10, 11, 12, they come to school to be with their friends. And uh, when they're very anxious to get to school, you know, after summer holidays, they, they want to come back, not to, you know, learn more things. They, come, they want to come back to meet their friends. Now, learning, is important but it's secondary to engaging with schools and I think or to engage with your friends and I think what e-twinning offers is um, a chance to do both you, you get to connect with friends from across Europe you get to interact and students like doing that and then the added bit is you, you get to learn and I think that's why student feedback on e-twinning projects often reflects this desire for more interaction. We want to meet more friends in more places and connect with them. And I think that's what that comes from. But I think it's really important that we keep in mind that for young people, schools are social places first and learning places second. For teachers, they're learning places and workplaces. So I think we, have a, we, we, we come with slightly different expectations. As long as we know to the two sets of expectations and are aware of, are aware of them, I think we should be okay.